and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. In today's video, we will see some ways of sending a mail from your HTML contact form without using any backend code. Let's get started with our first tool, which is formspree.io. It's very simple. You can sign into Formspree and create a form. Then, in your contact form, you just need to set this as an action. Once you do that, you will be able to receive all the entries of your form to form spree and your email ID. Let's sign in and see how this works. I have signed in and this is my dashboard. You first have to create a new project to be able to create a form. So click on new project, select dashboard project and give it a name, say sample. And now we see our project is created. To create a form, click here. Name of the form, let's say contact form. And send emails to this email ID. Mention your email ID here. Click on create form. It says form created successfully. So this is the endpoint that we need to copy. And here you can see a sample form. This is all you need to do. And from your form, once you submit, you can see your submissions here, apart from receiving the mails to the email ID that you mentioned. Simple and neat, right? Of course, the free plan has some limitations. You can only accept 50 submissions per month. But you can use unlimited forms and you can use it on unlimited projects. If you want to upgrade, you can upgrade for $10 a month where you can accept up to 1,000 submissions and so on. Let's see our next tool, which is formcarry, formcarry.com. This is very similar to Formspree. Of course, it has a few changes. Let me sign in and show them to you. So this is my dashboard. Here, you don't have multiple projects as against Formspree. You just have your forms. You can add a new form here. Form name, again, let me say contact. And you can add a lot of email addresses here. Click on next. It says you're ready to go. And it's the same endpoint, some very similar to Formspree. You need to copy this and you need to put it here in the same way. Form carry gives us a very nice way to prevent spam. It's called Honeypot. So it uses a hidden field and avoids some amount of spam. And once you are able to do this and submit, you can see your submissions here. You will also receive the mails, very similar to Formspree. About pricing, this is slightly better than Formspree in terms of submissions, but it allows only one form. So if you have just one form and you want more of submissions, you can use form carry. If you have multiple forms and you don't get that many inquiries, you can use form spree. And for the next plan, it's $15 per month where you can have unlimited forms and 1000 submissions per month, which is quite similar. But as you see, this is slightly more expensive than form spree. This is about form spree and form carry, which are quite similar. Now let's explore our third tool, which is email.js, email.js.com. And if you look at the pricing here, here you can accept up to 200 monthly requests and it doesn't have any particular forms because the way of sending emails here is slightly different. Let me sign in and show what happens. So this is our dashboard. What we need to do is click on add a new service. And if you are using it for personal purposes, then Gmail would be sufficient. You can click on Gmail, give your name and create a service ID. Say connect account. You can use an account that you wish to connect. And once this is done, allow to send yourself a mail and create service. It says service has been added. Now just go to integration 
and go to browser and all you need to do is copy this and paste it before closing the head tag and then go further into documentation here click on creating a contact form and there you have to further copy this much just make sure that the id is contact form because here you're going to get this and on submit it will actually call this function so email js works and you will be able to receive the mail to your gmail id you can read through of what exactly ha is happening here and how all of this is working and that's it these are the three ways you can send email to yourself from contact form without using any backend code at all if you want detailed tutorials on any of these three that i mentioned here mention in the comments below and i will create videos for that thank you thank you for watching hit a like and share this video ahead if you enjoyed watching this don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from thyrus